All right, so I'm gonna be making a acorn shaped box. The cap of the is gonna be the lid. And I got a chunk of purple heart. And a walnut board here. Cap's going to be the walnut and the acorn part is going to be the purple heart. Someone asked me to make a miss and their farm is called the purple acorn farm so I suggested purple heart. So let's get started. So right now I am just using my drawing I made to set the diameter of the compass to make these bottom three rings on this piece of purple heart. So I could cut them out on the bandsaw in a little bit here. Alright, so I got these three circles cut out. This is going to be the three sections of the acorn. Now this is all going to be segments from here to here. So there's a hole in the middle. And uh, that's the top view of it. So I'm going to make 40 pieces cut out like this, then glue them all together, then cut it into a circle. Looks like I forgot to take video of me cutting the segments of the purple heart, but here's how I did it with the test pieces. So instead of trying to use clamps, I just used rubber bands around all the segments to glue them all together. Alright, so I got these all glued together. I'm going to, before I stack them and glue them in a stack, I'm going to try to make the inside a little bit round on each one so that it's less shaping to do on the inside when they're all together. I got these holes round. Next, I'm going to glue these all together in, in a stack like this or so. And this is pretty much going to be my acorn sh shape after I smooth it all out. So it's all glued together. I'm going to shape it. I'm going to shape it as much as I can on the bandsaw to save time. Then it's going to be carving tools, rasps, and sanders. This is what we got right now. I'm uh, I can't resist putting a little bit of finish on it to see what this purple heart looks like with finish on it. So I'm gonna do that right now. That's pretty. This is pretty much done here. It actually took a whole day for this to turn purple. I was a little worried at first because it was reddish brown, but it did turn purple. I'm pretty happy what the bottom of this acorn looks like. Next I'm going to make this cap and the stem and I'm going to use a walnut for that. This walnut here, the piece is not straight and my jointer is not set up so I'm just going to I'm, I have this glued down to this piece of melamine. I'm going to cut one edge straight, take it off and then uh, I'll have a straight board 
and then glue both together so it's wide enough to make the six inch rings out of. Alright, that's gluing up. I got a nice big mess to clean up. Here I'm hogging out the material for the inside of the cap and then I'm cleaning up the edge with a router. Here's where I am with the cap so far. I got it so it sits in there. There's a little bit of wiggle room. You can spin it around. I am going to add a little piece of wood to add some thickness since I lost some when it was all planed down so I could get more of the shape I want. And then I'm going to shape the cap and add a stem. I never felt completely safe shaping something on the bandsaw so I got a new tool here and I'm going to try out for the first time. It's the Arbortech turbo plane. I've seen it, it looks pretty useful so let's give it a shot. In case you're wondering, I have this hot glued down to this board so it doesn't move. And then let's give this thing a shot. Our hot glue didn't really hold up, so um, let's try something else. Works pretty good. Thumbs up, Barber Tech. If I had more practice with that turbo plane, I could probably got a smoother surface here. But I uh, went as far as I felt comfortable with, and it was pretty quick. So now I'm going to spend some time with the rasp and get this to its uh, final shape here. Here we go, starting to look like an acorn. So I did have one piece that broke out here when I was rasping. I still have the piece, I could try to glue it back in, but I think I'm just, I'm gonna end up carving like scales to give this cap some texture. I think I'm just gonna try to incorporate this break out in with the scales instead of gluing a piece back in. And then I still got to make the stem. But so far I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. These massive tall objects in the yard that she loves With the brown bark and green leaves Sing it. La da 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 Okay, I got it drill holding the top for the stem and I got all the scales drawn on there with a white pencil so they could see it better I think I'm gonna start carving out the scales before I worry about the stem one because I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do the stem yet I realize that holding this in your hands while I'm doing this isn't the safest thing in the world but I don't have a lot of options. So this is a V gouge. I'm just going over all the white lines, just cut it, cutting out a groove. And then I'll come in with other chisels and kind of cut so it looks like like this scale would be coming out from underneath these two. Time consuming process, but it'll be cool at the end.
plastic watering can Fake Chinese rubber plants In the fake plastic She got from the rubber band And it's time for Cracked polystyrene who just crumbles and burns. All right, that's it. The acorn box is done. Well, maybe we should build some sort of stand for it. Alright, that seems like it will work. Let's just uh, do some shaping and make it a little bit more attractive looking. She Looks pretty good, I think. Works for me. Alright, I got these pieces wrapped up. All these um, toll marks in here I got filled with sawdust and glue. And then I have some shellac on it. I'm going to add some flocking to it to cover that all up, and I'm going to add some flocking to the inside of the acorn part.